Fred had made a deal with Raymond Burr, with the uh, Perry Mason estate, and with NBC to do a Perry Mason movie. <coughs> I was at Viacom at the time. I hadn't had a hit in a few years. And uh, he said, would you come in and write the script and be my fellow executive producer? And I wasn't even sure that I liked Perry Mason that much. I always thought they were kind of cockamamie stories and that. And I wasn't really a fan of the original show. But I needed a successful show. So I looked at a couple of episodes and I had some ideas. And uh, so wrote a script and we sent it over to NBC on a Friday. And on Monday, uh, the development guy at Viacom came in and said, they've greenlit the script. I said, that's not possible. I haven't heard from them. I haven't gotten a note. He said, no, it's greenlit. I said, you've got to be kidding me. So I called the guy who ran movies, who was, used to be my agent. He was a very funny guy. He used to be one of the groundlings, you know, which is this improv group there. And I said, Steve, I said, I'm very happy you picked it up. He said, yeah, yeah. I said, why? I mean, I'm just curious. He said, well, I read five scripts over the weekend, and yours is the only one that made any sense. And so we go back, and we start shooting Perry Mason. And we're shooting in Toronto. And uh, I don't know, does anybody really want to see this again? You know, it's been a long time. But uh, the Toronto, I think it's the Globe and Mail, which is like their New York Times, does a full page with Barbara you know, and Raymond and the courtroom and that. I mean, it's a big piece. Now, this is not a town where it's news that a movie comes there because they shoot a lot of movies. <coughs> so I looked at this, I said, well, maybe people do want to see this. So they held back Time Magazine and all of these things to the air day. It goes on the air <coughs> and to my astonishment, it's the number one movie of the night. It's the number one movie of the week. It's the number one, and there were 250 movies that year the number one movie of the month, and the number one movie of the year. <coughs> they ordered the second one while we, just after we finished the first one, and we went on, and I think we did four or five a year. We did 33 of them. We did three of them after Raymond died. The fiction was that evidently when he did the old show and he needed a rest, they'd bill it as a Perry Mason mystery, and they'd bring in some guest star to take the thing. So we used that. We, had uh, Paul Sorvino come in to do one, and Hal Holbrook did two. Then the guy from distribution said, we can't make any more of these. He said, I'm selling them overseas, and everybody says, where's Raymond Burr? Because Raymond passed away by that point. So uh, yes, that's, that's how we did 33 of those. 